So today is a beautiful day, it's Saturday, and it's 11.30, and I decided, it's been so long since I've hiked, I just hate letting the anxiety of coming across people and just worrying about Riley off-leash prevent me from going, so today I'm going to try out a new hike that I've never been on before. If there ends up being too many people out of the blue, I can always just leash her. It should be no problem. I need to stop worrying about stuff like this. It's not the end of the world if I end up hiking with her unleashed. That's just usually what nags the crap out of me. It will take about an hour to drive there. My main other concern is that it might be too chilly there because we're going higher in elevation and it's going east. I can't see it being that cold for me to have an issue with it because it's at least sunny or I think it goes in and out, but I am going to head out now and I am really looking forward to this. <laughs> I want to just clear my mind. No worries. Incredible. Oh man, my throat is starting to hurt a little bit. I think it's because of the um, inhaling of the cold air something I'm not very used to but I'm getting a little concerned now because this hike is mostly uphill right now because I'm going up right but that's something my doctor said that I shouldn't be doing much hike easy and I would like to get to the top but I feel like that would be kind of overdoing it the drive out here was actually slightly annoying because the road to get into this trail was mostly dirt and that sucks for the Prius. So there were times because it rained really hard two days ago so some of the road was really lopsided and my car is so bad with stuff like that so I was going really slow and there was like four miles of that so it would be nice to hike longer but at least what I've discovered is that this is a super nice trail. I haven't seen anyone yet, but there were five cars at the parking lot. So maybe they are just at the summit. People claim this hike is like six miles long, six to eight miles. I don't know if that's a round trip. I think that's out one way. I don't want to go back yet, but for health reasons, mm, I don't think I should keep going. Yes. <laughs> Hi baby. Focus. Good job. Break. Good. I'm down like a grandma and she's just waiting for me because <laughs> steep and it would be really bad for me to get too much shock on my joints. Oh, sometimes though, actually another thing, it's super wet out here. It's pretty muddy. There's a lot of water on the trail, which is really annoying trying to avoid it. There's gonna be another area later where I think there's a stream and that sucks. She's just splashing along next to me. Normally I just have her wait, but I don't like it when she jumps across the river. She just runs over. I feel like she might hurt her paws being reckless like that. But it also sucks because she tends to hug me too hard when I'm crossing and I feel like that could be dangerous. She might make me slip. And then she's just like <laughs> splashing water all over my shoes. Ah, <sighs> cutes. Break! Good. You don't have to run, pups. You don't have to run. Good lord. Splashing me all over the place. Sit. Good girl. Break. Good, come on. Hi, guys. I just woke up from a nap, was just extremely tired. It wasn't like I was lacking sleep or anything. I slept pretty well, I would say, but for some reason when I got back, I just felt freaking tired. So 
I did want to talk about this, but I decided to hold off until I was more alert. So I just woke up. So what I wanted to show you is just an introduction to this product, but I want to obviously take some time to use it and then I will probably provide a review or feedback in video form later on. So first off, the product is Lark. This somehow came up in my Facebook ads or Instagram and honestly, yes, sometimes most of them are garbage, but sometimes some of them do intrigue me because they're products I wouldn't have heard of otherwise. I just don't search for stuff like that. I don't know about Kickstarter. I don't have other means of finding products like this. So when this came up, it is a self-cleaning bottle. In the past, I've always had issues with using reusable water bottles because it's pain in the ass to wash the inside. I don't like using the brush thing because I don't feel like it effectively cleans it. You're not able to provide pressure on the sides of your water bottle that well with those tools. And I also find it tedious, right, to wash it in that form every day. So that definitely intrigued me about this water bottle because you don't need to clean the inside. Something I did read from a review, however, is that you will still have to clean the lid because the cleaning aspect of this bottle is, let's see, let me read. It's a UVC light. So let me just quickly read some of the stuff on the outside so you can get a better idea before I keep talking about it because self-cleaning bottle is still very vague just the way that is. So it says clean inside and out. 10,000 times more hygienic than regular reusable water bottles. Environmentally friendly. Kick your plastic habit to save the planet in your hard earned cash. That is admittedly something I don't like to do. I don't like to continuously buy plastic water bottles because yeah, it does suck, but for quality of life and just what works for me, I like to just grab and go. So this will become similar to a grab and go because I don't need to worry about cleaning it as much and that should hopefully replace me needing to buy water bottles and at the same time, long term, I would save money because I'll talk about that after. <laughs> long lasting power, one charge lasts up to one to two months and recharges via USB. Double insulated, keep it cool for 24 hours. I don't care about that because I don't like cool drinks because of my sensitive teeth. Pure water in 60 seconds. Drink confidently anywhere. At a touch of a button, the 280 nanometer UVC light neutralizes up to 99.999% of harmful odor causing bacteria. And this is in adventure mode. So adventure mode most likely is for hikers that need to cleanse and purify their water when they're deep in the woods and they don't actually have other sources. Self-cleaning and worry-free intelligently activates every two hours, basking the water and the inner surface in purifying UV light. Never worry about that stinky bottle. And then adventure ready, set in adventure mode for extra purification power so you can drink confidently no matter the destination. All right, let's open this up. Just in case I forget the thought that I was having earlier, I buy plastic water bottles every two weeks, I guess, and it's roughly $6. So that's two times a month. That's $12 a month times 12 is $144 a year. This water bottle is expensive, but if it works well and if it's not some crappy product that will break and if it lasts long term, I know that's a lot of ifs but sometimes you kind of just need to give it a chance. And it does have a one year warranty. I was a little bit ticked off. I mean, not something that I can do anything about it. So it was just agitating to see how kind of scummy it felt that the company puts this water bottle at $95 and they don't give you free shipping until $100. I hate when they do something so obviously shitty like that, but what can you do? So I was comparing prices with or without personalization. And 
Normally, I don't think I am one to spend 10 extra dollars on personalization because that's a lot of money just to have your name on something and I'm not gonna spend 10 bucks just for that. However, because of the free shipping garbage, I decided to get it because without personalization, it would cost $108 and with personalization, $113. So I was thinking a $5 price difference I'll just do it. Oh, keto. Oh, so let's open it up. Here's what it looks like. Of course, I was definitely so thrilled that they had a pink version. So I will say that the bottle itself definitely feels, feels like it's really good quality because it's very heavy. It just feels intense in my hands, which sounds like a stupid word to use, but it's a water bottle and this is not something I have ever like felt in terms of construction and quality in a water bottle before. Maybe that's not the best thing to say because I've never had that many diverse water bottles to try in terms of good quality expensive ones. So there might be $30 ones out there that would feel similar in construction to this, but just at least my first impression, this water bottle feels pretty good in terms of quality. And here, you can see that I got my name on the water bottle. I don't know if you can see it well because it's silver, but on a pink backdrop, hopefully it's pretty easy to see. But I got Ting Hui, T-I-N-G-H-U-I. And that is my Chinese name. Uh, I have it in my personal email. I think that's the only thing I have it in, but I just felt that if I got Michelle engraved on here, it felt basic to me. Michelle is probably a somewhat common name, but I have no idea about that anymore because I don't come across people. And I've actually, I've realized lately that I think I just don't care enough to remember people's names if they're not important to me because the past two jobs I've had, including my current one, I don't know people's names, even though I have been around them several times or I've hung around them at lunch gatherings and stuff, I would still not know their name until six plus months later. Why are we talking about that? Um, anyways, yeah, I just felt like, uh, I don't know, American name, English name, Michelle, people would see it on a water bottle and just think it's just typical. That's so common, that freaking name. So I was like, screw it, I want to be super unique. Not many people would have a name like this. They wouldn't even know what the hell this means. So that would feel extra special to me. And I just remembered while growing up that my parents would occasionally call me this and I just wouldn't really think much of the name. But as I've grown older, I feel happier and more proud that I have a Chinese name because I am proud to be Chinese and I, I like all of that stuff. I'm happy to engrave it on a water bottle. That's the end of the story. So here's the USB charging area. Okay, so the first thing it says is to unlock Lark. And in order to do that, you press and hold the top down for five seconds to unlock the bottle for the first time. A white color light will flash telling you it is unlocked and ready for purifying action. I'll unlock it, but I'm not gonna use it yet because I wanna charge it a bit first. So let's hold this down for five seconds. ready to purify life for me. Okay, so another really important aspect it mentions in here is that you do not want to charge with any other USB cut cable. Blech. You do not want to charge with any other USB cable other than the one it gives you, which is this one. So I will keep that in mind because I have been interchanging my USB cables a ton because every time you buy one, you get one. And by now, a lot of them work for one another, but at least for this one, I will make sure that that doesn't happen. Introductory part over, I guess. Well, here, let me show you. So this is the UVC light for 90, well, for $113. I'll give this a try because I really like the concept and I would love to stop using plastic water bottles for sure. So 
let's get this cap charged up and once it's charged up I will neutralize some water and I'll drink it and maybe I'll compare it with the taste with a plastic water bottle over there maybe I'll use some toilet water alrighty let's plug this in man I never have space not exactly I always have to remove one to use one but down Uh, okay. Buffers are in the way. <laughs> Anyways, green for charging. I will follow up with my toilet water experiment later. Alrighty, my thing is done charging. So first things first, let's fill this up with water. Screw on the cap and press the button to get purifying. Once for normal mode, twice for adventure mode. Do not interrupt the purification cycle by removing the cap or pressing the top button. Let's see. So this color means it is purifying. <laughs> I'm so lame, I was like, oh, am I gonna hear like interesting shit going on inside? In the meantime, while it is purifying, I am going to try regular water. Or get ready to try regular water. And we'll see a taste difference. Even though, to be honest, I've never been... Well, it's weird to say that I don't care about taste as much, but I think some people are more sensitive than others. So, I just remember a time last year, or a little bit longer than that, where I was drinking a lot of Fiji water, and I really like Fiji water because I do notice a taste difference way better than just this kind of bottled water. I drank it for a while but it was really expensive <clears throat> so I stopped because the price difference is incredible. 10 times or something like that. But it is done. So let's try regular Arrowhead water. This is hard to tell, but I mean, I can definitely taste a little bit of something in this, but it's also, this is warmer than this water, so I feel like the temperature difference kind of throws off me trying to notice major differences. So I guess what also kind of messes with my mind a bit is I'm just supposed to trust that the bottle is working. That part might be a little weird to get used to at first because you're like, oh, I just filled this with random sink water and now it's purified. You're just supposed to believe that. And then maybe when you are thinking that, you're expecting the taste to be pure and good and all of that. We'll see how this works out. I really do like the construction of the bottle and I'm really excited to use this. So let's hope it works out well and lasts pretty long. Otherwise it is not gonna be a good product.